My name is Margaret Kosmala, and I'm at the University of Minnesota. I have had science tendencies since I was a child. Um, my parents were greatly enamored with my turtle project. We lived on a swamp, and every spring I'd go out and find eastern painted turtles that had climbed out of the backyard swamp and were either laying eggs somewhere or had wandered out into the street, and I'd go rescue them from the street. But I wouldn't just rescue them. I'd like measure them and weigh them and do all these things that I'd seen done on TV shows. So that was back when it was all on PBS. It was all um, National Geographic specials and so forth. And I just consumed them uh, like mad. But it wasn't until college that I realized that you could actually do this as a job. Um, and so I had friends who were environmental science majors, and they introduced me to this as a science. And that's how I really got involved in the science of ecology. And Snapshot Serengeti is a website where we ask uh, volunteers to go and identify animals from the Serengeti. So these are mostly large, furry mammals. Um, we ask them how many there are in each of these images and what sort of things they're doing and whether there are any babies present. Snapshot Serengeti began when we put up a camera trap network of 225 cameras uh, spread out through about 600 square miles of the Serengeti. And we suddenly realized that we had lots and lots and lots of images. We have about a million a year. Uh, but then we had to go through them all and figure out what was in each image. And that was our limiting step, was actually going through all of these many, many images. So we needed help with that. So we partnered with Zooniverse, and that's how Snapshot Serengeti came to be and why we're asking volunteers to help us. People get different things out of the project. So some people have told me that um, they really enjoy just looking at the pictures of the an animals and sometimes just pictures of the grass, the landscape. Sometimes they're at sunset and they're quite pretty even if they don't have animals in them. Um, and that they like to do this during their lunch break or in the evening as a way to unwind. Um, and other people really enjoy learning all about all the different animals, what they look like, and then we include some information about um, their activities and so forth on, on our blog as well. Uh, some people like to collect animals, and so they want to get one of each one. Um, but I think generally people come to the site because they're interested in, in wildlife and animals and sometimes conservation. Um, and they get to see lots of pretty pictures and help science at the same time. For more information, visit www.adlerplanetarium.org slash citizen science.